I wasn't planning to review this shotgun, but since I've been using it in the last few videos, you guys have been asking a lot of questions about it, so today I'm going to deliver some answers. This is my Remington 870 12 gauge short barreled shotgun. It started out as a police surplus gun that I bought for really cheap with no barrel. If you look really closely, you can tell it's pretty well used, but it's still in great mechanical condition. I replaced the stock with a Magpul SGA stock. I removed all the spacers in order to get the length of pull as short as possible, and I've added one of the Magpul cheek risers to raise up the comb height. The forend is also from Magpul. I'm actually not crazy about this design. I don't really like this lip here in the back, but I really like that it's easy to attach a light. You can put a piece of rail on any of these slots in the forend and attach whatever light you want. I've got an in-force weapon mounted light attached right now, which works pretty well with the way I normally grip the forend. The mag tube extension is the only accessory I kept that was on the shotgun when I bought it. It's a Vang Comp Systems plus one extension, so I can get a total of five rounds in the tube. The side saddle is also from Vang Comp. It's a plate with Velcro on it that attaches with screws through the receiver. These Velcro backed cards with elastic loops just stick right to the plate. The barrel is actually not custom. This is a factory Remington 14 inch barrel with a fixed modified choke. Remington doesn't typically sell these directly to the general market, but you can sometimes find them on auction sites. I got this one for a little under $200. It came with XS Express sights pre-installed. They've got a V-notch in the rear and a big white dot on the front. I'm actually not a big fan of the XS sights on handguns, but I really like it on this shotgun. I found it quicker to use than a ghost ring sight and a little more accurate than a bead sight. The Remington 870 is probably the easiest platform to start with if you want a short barreled shotgun because it doesn't require any custom work and the factory barrels are fairly easy to come by. Because this shotgun has a barrel under 18 inches, it does fall under the National Firearms Act regulations. That basically means I had to pay a $200 tax and do a bunch of paperwork and wait a few months for Uncle Sam to process all that before I could legally install this barrel. If you wanna know more about how the NFA thing works, I'll put a link in the video description with some more information. But I think the more pressing question for most of you guys is whether I think the short barrel shotgun is worth paying the extra $200. And really that's just gonna depend on each individual situation. But I do think it's got some pretty compelling advantages. I really like the way the gun balances versus a more typical 18 inch barrel. It's not really drastic, but it is noticeable. And it doesn't sacrifice much in terms of shot spread. I can easily keep all the pellets inside a vital zone of a target at 15 yards with federal flight control double lot buckshot. But most importantly, the short barrel makes the shotgun more maneuverable inside a house. I've done some dry practice at home and at the range with some obstacles set up and I was really surprised at just how much easier it is to get around furniture and doors and that kind of thing. I'm not suggesting anyone go out and try to hunt bad guys and clear their own house alone. But even just staying put in one room, the shorter barrel is easier to work with. And for me, it also makes the gun a little quicker to retrieve from where I have it stored. The short barrel does have some potential disadvantages. It's got a shorter magazine tube than you can get with a longer barrel. And that means you have one or two fewer rounds of ammo capacity. More ammo is certainly a good thing, but as I've mentioned in other videos, capacity is not nearly as critical with a shotgun as with a handgun or a carbine. The whole purpose of using a shotgun to solve a problem is precisely because historically they have not required multiple hits to stop a threat. To paraphrase Tom Givens, if you've got five rounds in a shotgun, then you've got a five bad guy gun, and I'm pretty happy with that. Capacity is not the only perceived disadvantage of the short barrel. It also might not be as PR friendly as a more traditional shotgun, which is a big deal for some people. You also have to ask permission from the ATF and fill out some paperwork anytime you wanna take the shotgun over state lines. And that's kind of a pain if you like to travel a lot. Overall, for me personally, I think the benefits of the 14 inch barrel outweigh the disadvantages, but it's not something I would call an essential modification. If you've already got a decent shotgun with an 18 or 20 inch barrel, your money is probably better spent on a few cases of ammo and a good training class. But if you've got some room in the budget after that, I do think the short barrel makes the shotgun a lot more convenient to use and it might be something worth considering.